A confused mind doesn't buy. What's going on, guys? This is Philip Sessions, your public speaking and communications coach, here to talk to you today about how to clearly communicate so you don't confuse that potential prospect. Just like the saying, the quote that I just gave you about a confused mind doesn't buy, we hear about that a lot in sales. And here's the thing. When you are talking to a prospect, you need to make sure they're not confused because they won't buy from you. But why do they get confused in the first place? Most of the times when we are talking to a potential prospect, we have a list of 100 different services that we have. And guess what? They don't understand what each service is that you do. You are the expert. So you have to explain to them what they need. So how do you go about figuring out what they need? Well, that comes back to what their needs are. So you have to talk to them on those needs. Ask questions to be able to dive into and unravel this mystery, which is what they need. And that comes back to your process, your sales process of being able to figure out, okay, are they looking for, let's say they're doing a kitchen remodel. Do they need cabinets or do they need a new appliances? Or are they looking to do the whole thing, just paint, backsplash? What in the world are they doing with the next, this kitchen remodel? There are so many things. And those of you that do kitchen remodels, you definitely know a lot more than I do about that. But let's think about the kitchen as a whole. All the different appliances that you have in there. Maybe they just want to swap those out and they're calling that a remodel. Maybe they want to redo all the cabinets and they're calling that a remodel. Maybe they want to do both. Again, the backsplash, the painting, the sink, you name it, it's a remodel. Even the floors. And maybe they're just talking about the kitchen floors. These are the questions you have to ask to be able to figure that out. Because if you're a cabinet guy and you're not a floor guy, you can't help them out. And hopefully they knew that enough to be able to talk to you. But let's say you do cabinets and flooring, or maybe you're just a kitchen guy. So you do everything, backsplash, countertops, cabinets, flooring. And so they're going to you about that, but they don't need it all. But if you go in and talk to them about every single part of that process that you can do and all those services that you have, they're probably not going to buy. So if you don't have the time to actually be able to ask them about that, which you should have the time, hey, we have several services. I just need to ask you a few questions just to make sure we're on the same page and that I can present to you the best offers that would be right for what you're trying to do. You see right there, you told them, hey, we need a few more questions answered or we need to answer a few questions before we can tell you the right thing. You're not making them feel stupid. You are the expert. They're looking to you to help guide them to their solution. Let me repeat that again. You are there to guide them to their solution as the expert because they know they want to do something to their kitchen. Maybe they know they want cabinets, but if they're just calling you up and you do cabinets, floors, countertops, all that stuff, you could be telling them all about floors and all about countertops but they're really focused on cabinets and that's where you lose the sale. But if you go in and you ask these questions and you unravel this mystery of what they want, which is cabinets only, now you can talk about cabinets and you can go in and talk about different aspects within those cabinets. Again, I'm not a cabinet guy. I don't know anything about kitchen remodeling, I'm not done it myself and I'm not in that business but you can then dive into cabinets and helping them figure out what is the right solution for them from there. But if you don't want that buyer to be confused, you need to ask questions and you need to listen. That's why we have two ears and one mouth, because we need to do more listening than we do speaking. So ask the question, shut up and listen, because they're going to tell you what they need within that. And they want you to ask the right questions because you are the expert. And too often times we have this knowledge in our head as the expert and we don't translate that out. So we have to ask those questions that we need. I actually had this happen with a book launch that I was working on. I was leaning on the expert to tell me what they needed in order to get my book written, published, and launched. I did the writing, of course, but I needed to know what they needed 
but they didn't ask me all the questions. They did a lot of assumptions and I did a lot of assumptions too, because I expected them to know what they needed. And it turns out they knew what they needed, but they just assumed they had everything because we'd worked together in the past. So make sure you don't assume, because even if you work with somebody prior to you working with them again, it may change. Maybe the first time you work with them, they had this email for this one company, and now they started their own business, and they have a different email. But you start sending it to that other old company email, and they're like, hey, I never got the quote. I never got any information from you. You're like, I sent it all to you. But you didn't. You didn't ask again, like, hey, let's make sure I've got all your right contact information here. You are uh, Philip Sessions, right? You're still Philip Sessions. Okay, maybe not something that silly. But, hey, I've still got the right number. I've got the right email address. All of this is correct. Right address, you know, physical address as well. And you have all that information. So you want to make sure you're asking questions in order to make sure that you get that sale, that you answer the prospect and get them the right product or service because a confused mind doesn't buy, but they're waiting on you to ask the right questions because they're confused. You got to ask the right questions so that you can present the right products and services to them. And once you present the right products and services, they're no longer confused because they know exactly what you can do to help them. And then they can buy from there. Or now they're off to a different rebuttal within your sales process, which is for a sales podcast, not for my podcast. But I want to let you know that if they are confused, if they don't know exactly what product or service you can offer them, and you've offered them your whole list of the products and services that you have, they're going to be confused and they're not going to buy. So one way to get rid of that is by asking those questions so they can understand better and they can then make a purchasing decision. And if this information was helpful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel here. Let me know what you thought and go out there and have a healthy and blessed day.